Video captured by an apparent drive-by car battle in the streets of Soulard this week, but no one, uh, none of this was on police radar. Our political editor, Mark Maxwell, is live in Soulard with details. Mark. Mike, good evening. We, we couldn't possibly report live from every crime scene where someone uh, fired shots, especially when no one was hurt. But this case stands out in part because it exposes a glaring blind spot in the St. Louis Police Department's surveillance systems. There's so many gunshots that go off. I think the neighbors have just kind of become immune to these gunshots and they're like, okay, well, somebody else is going to report it in. The first time St. Louis police heard about this apparent Friday night drive by shooting in the streets of Soulard is when five on your side reached out to ask them about it. The only trace of what happened captured on home video systems. We've seen, you know, gun battles. Um, we have the park right across the street here, so it's a little bit frightening in that aspect. Windows are shattered on the cars. Uh, cars, the tires are flattened, and it's just, again, it's scary. City officials say Soulard is not equipped with ShotSpotter's sensitive audio sensors that detect and zero in on gunshots in real time. And I've asked the police, hey, can you have extra patrols come around here? Can we get one of the shot spotters over here? It's been, we're just under staff. We can't do that, and we can't, we're not able to put that over in this area. Yeah, it's just kind of disheartening that. Uh, we can't really get an answer. Older woman Kara Spencer says we need the entire city under shot spotter. I mean, everyone is concerned with crime and safety. Former alderman Ken Ortman is running against Spencer in the upcoming April election. Would you like to see the expansion of some of these police surveillance cameras from the real time crime center in neighborhoods like this? I think that would be a real positive thing. We just need answers from city officials on what they're going to do um, in all the regions in, in downtown because there's so many positive things happening with the Battle Hawks, the, um, the new uh, soccer team. We've got uh, top golf coming downtown. Uh, people need to feel safe when they come down or else they're not going to. Police are searching for two suspects in a separate shootout that happened weeks ago in that very same intersection that rattled neighbors there. They're still uh, undergoing that investigation. Police are also asking businesses to sign up and plug in their outdoor surveillance cameras into the St. Louis Police Department's real-time crime center to help them close these cases faster. Reporting live in Soulard, Mark Maxwell, five on your side.